What's going on folks? Uh, today I'm going to be installing this Hogtunes Gen 3 speaker and amplifier kit in my uh, 2008 Street Glide. Uh, just going from the stock setup to this setup. So uh, we're going to get started. And just like that, unboxed and ready to install. Everything looks really good just looking at the quality of it. Um, the amp looks nice. It's, uh, it's heavy, very sturdy. You've got uh, four wiring harnesses packaged up, nice and neat, and everything is labeled. Uh, of course, here's the manual that we'll be following. Uh, we'll go step by step with that. And these things, if you look at this magnet on the back, you have to excuse my puppy dog. Max, what's the matter with you, buddy? What's wrong? What's wrong? You're on YouTube. You're on YouTube. <laughs> All right, guys, so the tools you'll need for this job is your, uh, you need a T40, a T27, and a T25 Torx bit, and this is my Torx bit driver. You will need a number three Phillips, and I guess this would be a number two Phillips, or regular, yeah, just number two Phillips, four millimeter Allen wrench, uh, of course a ratchet, 10 millimeter socket, and a 3.8 socket. That should be everything you need in order to do this job. If not, we'll add to it as we go. Next step will be the bat wing uh, fairing removal. And of course these speakers here they'll be coming out replaced with the Hogtune Hogtune's uh, edition speakers as well as the amplifier which we will set up here on to the next step now we're going to use our T25 Torx bit and take these speakers out and there's three there's uh, one two three the fourth one or that fourth hole down there you don't use it there's nothing there all right we're gonna to have to remove this fairing bracket as well so we can get this speaker out um this would be a uh, 3 16 allen wrench right here uh allen wrench allen socket anything you can get in there to get that bolt out we get this bracket out of the way then the speaker will come out same for the other side can directly compare even closer uh, that magnet size isn't that crazy look at that all right so now we're just going to remove the speaker from the grill this is a little casing it uh, basically kind of snaps in you'll pull it off of uh, the side here like that noting the orientation go ahead and mount the speaker back using the same hardware then we'll do the same thing on the do the same thing on the other side.
guys, the speakers are back installed. The fairing braces are back in place. Uh, turns out you really don't have to remove the fairing brace like I did on this side. You can just loosen this uh, Allen bolt here, 316th. Uh, just loosen it up, and then when you take this one out, you can actually kind of swing it out of the way. All right, so the next thing the uh, instructions ask us to do is mount the amplifier. Um, it's going to mount on top of the factory radio uh, using this uh, Velcro they send us. Pre-06, say it's a tight fit, but it still fits. <laughs> 06 to 2013 says there's a ridge on top of the radio, cut the Velcro in half. All right. Yeah. Okay, and they want it to set 5 eighths of an inch. They say put it as far back as it'll go, but minimum here is 5 eighths of an inch. All right, so we're going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to measure this, draw a line in the middle, and just cut it in half. Okay, they say they want uh, at least five eighths of an inch. We have an inch, so we should be fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, do, I'm going to wire up the speakers first. I'm going to take this input cable that they talk about and come over here. One side, it's all color coded, uh, and again, follow the instructions in your manual. Um, we'll go one end. We'll plug. On, on this lead, we'll plug in to your old, where this used to plug in, because now it's going to get the signal from this wire, go into the harness, into the amp, get amplified, go out to the uh, new speakers. So one uh, lead, and I'll show you, will go here. One set of leads will go here. Then this white plug here will plug in over here at the audio input. So that's where we're going to send that signal into the amp. So I'm going to do that now, get that done, and then we'll go on to uh, plugging in to this plug and running the power back to the battery. So let's do that now. Okay. There's the white lead I'm talking about that plugs into the side of the input uh, side of the amp. Then, let me get this thing out. The green and black wire here. It says that goes on the uh, brake side of the bike, and the uh, this one here, which is black and yellow, will go over to the uh, clutch side of the bike. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so this uh, this blue plug we're not going to use. This is for uh, if you're sending uh, some audio signal like to another set of speakers, but I'm not doing that. This is just for the front. We're going to plug this in right here and it should snap in like that. Now we'll take the yellow side goes to the, or this uh, yellow goes to the uh, clutch side. It's the green side and it'll go over here. So if you notice, one spade, I'm going to call it, is wider than the other. Just like here. So it'll only go one way. So we'll take the wide one and uh, insert it into the corresponding wide one like that and then the uh, narrow one go to the narrow one. it's a little bit ornery it's tight so that's good uh, so it don't come loose so we're going to do the other side the same way okay got the small one plugged in I had to put my gloves on these things were uh, pretty tight so I had to really uh, press them in let's go to the uh, larger spade that one plugs in easy the small one though just, just a note, guys. The uh, that small one is very tight, so you got to really get on it. Now, onto the next step, we're going to go from the output of the amp out to the uh, corresponding speakers. Blue black plugs directly to the speaker on the brake side, so brown black goes to the uh, clutch side. So let's do that now. So just making sure you don't want to do it backwards. So it's cool the way they um, the shorter one. We'll go over here, and then your longer one, this blue and black one, will go over to the uh, to the other side. And again, it'll only go one way. Uh, you have a narrow and a wide. So we'll plug it up to the uh, speaker accordingly. There again, wide. It's wide, and you hear it snap in. Okay. 
what you have. Blue and black brake side, brown and black to the clutch side. These both feed in to this plug that plugs into this side of the amplifier. Now as far as this black wire, I'm assuming it to be a ground. Um, we will uh, look further into the manual and see what this is all about. All right, so on the front of this dash, uh, or this console rather, right here, a uh, four millimeter Allen wrench will get that screw out, and then you'll use your uh, use a uh, your uh, three eighths your three eighths socket uh, to get the bolt off the back. Okay, now, but I am gonna take my towel that I have in the front fender for my fairing. Uh, when I took the front fairing off, I'm gonna lay it down over the battery so I don't touch any of the terminals. And just lay this thing down gently on top of it. Uh, now I can start running my wiring harness down through here. All right guys, I got everything buttoned up back here. I've um, got the cover back on, uh, everything's plugged in. You can see my cable wire is running up beside this uh, tank uh, bleed off hose. Uh, coming out the front up here, and then we are coming out right here. I'm gonna have to, uh, of course, do a little bit of a routing. I may even tie wrap it underneath this bracket there. But for now, I just wanted to plug everything up and see if it's plugged up right, see if it works, see if I have uh, see if I have audio. This cable, I still don't know what it is or where it goes. If I don't have audio, then I'm gonna ground this. Um, and then this plug, like we said earlier, is not used for this application. It's if you're doing uh, more speakers. And that's when you would use the um, <coughs> connectors and all that came that came with the, uh, with the hog tunes, but this I won't be using. So now we're gonna go over here and let's see, uh, I'm just gonna leave that switch off. Power on, FM. Oh yeah. Sweet. Rock 103 loves making winners. Okay, cool. All right, cool. So, uh, so now, I'm just going to uh, tidy all this up, put the bat wing fairing back on. Uh, basically a reverse process of when I showed you taking it off. So no need to really show that guys. Um, once I uh, get it all back together and really pump some music through it, uh, I'll, I'll put a comment down in the section below and, uh, and tell you what my final thoughts are. Um, if this video helps you at all, if you got any tips from it, please give it a, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, any comments that you may have, um, drop it down below. Thanks again, guys. See ya.